Hey, this is Alpha Bob. In this video, I'm going to show you the startup keyboard shortcuts to use. To enter the settings window, press the escape key. First go to display and graphics. I like to inverse the zoom direction of my mouse wheel. This is just a preference of mine. More important is to select the Shortcuts tab. Go to Window and change the inventory to use the I key. Now change the map to use the M key. and the solar system map to use the P key. The agency selection to use the O key. Change the tab to combat and search for decreased probe strength. Make this the W key. You will have to reassign this key. And now set increased probes to the Q key. I'm looking for refresh probe scan, but as you can see, I'm lost. Set this to the E key. I set the tag item as X to the 4 key. And the unlock all targets to the X key. I made a mistake here. I meant to assign it to unlock all targets. On the modules tab, assign the high power slot 1 to the 1 key. And do the same for the 2 and 3 keys. Again, these are my preferences, which are some very helpful key bindings to use. Wait a second, I forgot the most important binding. Under the combat tab, reassign the directional scan to the spacebar key. This is the button you should press most often when exploring. I click the return to game button. I press the P key and the solar map with probes comes up. I launch my probes with this button. Now the Q key increases the size that my probes cover. And then the W key makes that size smaller. I drag my probes to a location and press the E key to do a probe scan. Pretending this is a normal scan, I adjust my probe center and hit the W and E keys to get an improved scan. I just pressed the space bar, which performed a directional scan. To stay safe, you should constantly use the D scan while you are in enemy territory. I do a new scan in a different location. When you are scanning down three cosmic signatures, using these key bindings makes this process much faster. The more you play, the more you might change or make adjustments to these keyboard bindings. But this should be a good start. In my next video, I will explain how I set up my window positions and my overview settings. Click the link in the bottom left to watch that video. Or, you can click on the right side link to watch one of my other videos. And again, thanks for watching, and as always, happy hacking.